What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and you're watching the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Today I'm in the city of Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm about to hike Paestua Peak. Right up here behind me, this is the second tallest peak in the Phoenix Mountain Range. It's actually the second tallest peak in the Phoenix metro area, just behind Camelback Mountain. I did climb Camelback Echo Canyon Trail about a month ago, and I have not climbed Paestua Peak yet. So this is a big deal for me and wanted to ring in the new year doing something new. I, growing up in Iowa and living in Illinois in the Chicagoland region, I've never been able to ring in the new year climbing a mountain before, but since I've relocated to Phoenix this past summer, this is my first chance to kind of start out fresh for 2023. So about to hike Paestua Peak. Should be extreme. Again, it's the second highest peak in the Phoenix mountain region. And it's somewhat a difficult trail, but I've heard it's slightly easier than Echo Canyon Trail at Camelback. So looking forward to do this and share this journey with you. So follow me to the second highest peak of the Phoenix mountain range. Now I've heard that this hike takes about an hour on average to get to the top. So you want to come prepared. I, I've got a Camelback on it. I think it carries about three liters of water, but they do have public restrooms at the bottom. I recommend use these before you hike because again, it could take an hour or more just to get to the top of Paestua Peak. I love this bridge, by the way. Look at this. There's this cool bridge right over here is the parking lot, the restrooms, and then crossing this rustic bridge to the mountain trail. This time of year, again, it's, it's early 2023, January. It feels great outside. The temperature right now is like in the mid 60s. Summertime is a totally different story out here. It could get up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit out here in the Phoenix metro area. So just plan accordingly. Definitely, you, I recommend hiking this in the off season, the winter season. But if you do want to do it in the summertime, just make sure you bring plenty of water, plenty of hydration. Here we go, without further ado, this is the beginning of the trail and I think there's some trail information straight ahead. This trail here is called the Freedom Trail. But I want to go to the summit, so I'm going to follow this summit trail sign start heading up it's a rocky terrain so again wear good hiking shoes i've got la sportiva these shoes are great highly recommend checking those out i don't endorse this brand at all but they're good i like them i also recommend well here is the beginning of the summit trail to the peak of paestua and so paestua peak is 2610 feet tall and this ascent I read online is 1300 feet. So it's a 1300 foot ascent in about a mile. So it's a steep one, but I need that. I need, I need to start off the new year, kicking my butt and getting back into shape. So should be a good one. Look at this, saguaro. Again, it's not saguaro, it's saguaro cactus. The G is silent, but yeah, this is unique to the Sonoran desert. You will not find saguaro cactus anywhere else in the world except for here in southern Arizona and northern Mexico. It's so cool. It's so alien to me. Right off the bat, very rocky terrain, but it's kind of like a natural staircase. Kind of reminds me of the Manitou Incline in Colorado. And I read online that there are a series of switchbacks they go back and forth on the way to the peak. And you can see, here's the very first one. See how the trail kind of winds back and forth. Those are called switchbacks. Fairly common on a lot of mountain trails. But uh, this, I think, is more common here at Paestua than it is on Camelback. I don't recall a lot of sw switchback trails on Camelback. But again, just a well-marked trail. You really should never wander off the trail. It's easy to find the path. Just taking in a view here of the Phoenix mountain range, just north of downtown Phoenix. Behind me, there's the Phoenix metro area right there. And you can see the Phoenix skyline. We'll get a better view of that, of course, as we ascend 
but this kind of gives you a quick peek of where this mountain range is located. You see the switchbacks continuing to go up and that's not the actual summit, it's further back, but the trail goes right up in between that small peak there. Now the mountain here was originally called Squaw Peak, but in 2003, the name changed to Paestua, named after Lori Ann Paestua, who was the first female Native American to die in major combat. She died in 2003 during the Iraq War, and they changed the name of the mountain to Paestua Peak shortly after that. Another interesting fact is Lorianne Paestua was friends with Jessica Lynch, and uh, I was 17 when the Iraq War broke out. I remember Jessica Lynch, it was a major um, operation to save her. She was ambushed and there was a, it was all over the news. There was a huge rescue mission that was successful. They did end up saving her, but unfortunately, Lori Ann Paestua lost her life. So that's what this mountain is now, or who I should say this mountain is now named after. And she was of the Hopi nation. Again, very straightforward trail, but I'm definitely feeling the ascent. Again, it's 1,300 feet in one mile, so pace yourself. It's no rush. So we ascend the switchbacks. Think of it like one big Stairmaster. Yeah, definitely feeling it in my thighs, that's for sure. Definitely a quad and thigh workout. So don't skip leg day, guys. Don't skip leg day. I'm feeling it. But just again, pace yourself, bring plenty of water, and uh, make sure to turn off your water valve on your camelback because mine was just left on and uh, my butt is soaked. Everybody behind me probably thinks I just crap my pants or piss myself. Oh well, I'm glad I caught it before all of it was drained. Just look at this view of the valley, the Phoenix metro area, the Valley of the Sun. Straight ahead of me is the Phoenix skyline. And it's even kind of overcast today, but still a very clear view of the Phoenix Valley. You can see Camelback right over there, that big peak. That is the hump of the camel. That is Camelback, the highest peak of the Phoenix mountain range in the Phoenix metro area. And clearing this first, kind of a false summit, this first peak, look straight ahead. That is Paestua Peak. Straight ahead, that is awesome. What a great view. So that's where I'm headed, to the top of the peak, straight ahead, where I've also brought a local beer to enjoy at the top. So looking forward to that, but hey, gotta keep my mind focused, still got a ways to go. Another trail here, Freedom Trail 302, kind of goes along the side of Paestua Peak. I'll be taking the Summit Trail, of course, which winds right over there. But I wanted to show you this incredible view on the west side of the Phoenix metro area. It's just amazing to me how many mountain ranges there are, not only in Phoenix, but in Arizona. When I, before I moved here, I thought all of Arizona was just a vast desert. I had no idea how mountainous this state is. It's, it's still unbelievable to me. Oh, yeah. Had no idea how mountainous Arizona was. We've got a brother and two sisters that live in Colorado, so you know, I'm not a stranger to mountain climbing, but I guess my preconceived notion of Arizona was that it was just a flat desert. I had no idea how mountainous 
Phoenix, and the whole state of Arizona is. It's so mind blowing to me. Check out this rock as well. Look how old this rock looks. It's like straight out of prehistoric days. I have no idea what the history of Piestua, Piestua Peak is. I know that in Northern Arizona and Northern New Mexico, there are a lot of old volcanoes from millions of years ago that are now extinct, but this used to be a, a very active volcanic region of what is now today Northern Arizona and Northern New Mexico. Just things I had no idea about, no idea about before moving here. Look at this. So another staircase ascending toward the heavens. Wow, look at that view. That's amazing. West side of the Phoenix metro area and making the final ascent to the top of Paestua Peak. You never know what's around the next bend on this mountain, which is really cool. Look at that. And then it just reveals itself. A lot of tubular saguaro. They don't have the arms yet. And uh, look at this. Again, the trail here is really nice. It's really straightforward. There's a lot of trail runners I see up and down the peak here, the mountain. And uh, yeah, it'd be perfect if you wanna train. This trail is so straightforward. It, it really is a good one to learn how to trail run. Again, a lot of this black rock. It's just so prehistoric looking. And then more amazing views again of the valley. <laughs> really is breathtaking up here. I really want to know what kind of rock this is. This smooth, black, prehistoric looking rock. And it does look like it's something that came from like some kind of prehistoric volcano. Any geologists out there, leave a comment. I would love to know the history of the Phoenix Mountains. So I think, okay, good. Almost looks like it split off. I guess that is an unofficial trail right there. But here is the summit trail. 300 is the number of the summit trail. As it winds around and towards the peak. Got kind of a nice break here. It's not as steep. Well, I got past that nice, smooth area, and straight ahead of me, look, more steps. And I think this may be the final ascent to the top. Got a great view of the peak right there. So again, a very straightforward path, but it is steep, so take your time. Pace yourself. It's not a race. Getting close. There's the top. And uh, there's kind of a nice shaded area here for Garnett from LA and Kurt. Not sure what that means, but kind of a good spot here to rest and hydrate and take in the views. want to point out as I'm nearing the top of Paestua Peak, there's Camelback straight ahead. That's the top, well, that's the hump of the camel, for lack of better words, straight ahead. That is the highest peak of the Phoenix mountain range. That's a great climb as well, but I wanted to point that out. What a great view of Camelback from here on Paestua. And again, this the Phoenix skyline. Over there as the sun starts to, starts to descend in the sky. You can tell I'm still catching my breath. 
<sighs> so it looks like we've got some minor switchbacks as we near the peak. Which I don't mind because it makes it a little easier to climb, a little less steep. You can see the rocks extending further up as we near the peak. Getting close. I can feel it. Now this is cool. Look at this. Almost to the peak. and It's almost like true mountain climbing. I mean, not quite. It's, it's still a pretty ready, easy trail. But it's the first time I've actually had to like use my hands and grab onto some of the rocks to hoist myself up. Wow, look at this view. Look at this view on the, I think this is the northeast side. Again, Camelback, super prominent. Look at how many mountains there are, even stretching north. Look at that. I don't even know what those ranges are called, but there we are. There, I've been saying this a lot throughout the video. I think this, safe to say, is the final ascent In the concert. to the peak. I feel like I've been saying that time and time again, but this I think looks like it's gonna be it. So, let's get there. I got a cold beer waiting for me in my backpack. Now what is this? We got handrails towards the top. You know, they had handrails at Camelback as well. I'm not gonna use handrails. Who uses handrails? This is mountain climbing. I don't need handrails. All right, it's a little bit further to the top. Wow, look at this. So the final leg to the peak, it's actual like legit climbing, kinda. I mean, it's still a fairly easy trail to follow, but definitely is getting steeper. So, almost there. Yeah, this is definitely an incredible hike. You can see behind me the views, and we're almost there. I would say definitely the end of this is the biggest workout towards the end. My glutes will feel it tomorrow, that's for sure. All right, I think this is finally it. Look at this. Look how rocky it is up here compared to Camelback. This is amazing. Look at this. Camelback is relatively flat on top, but Paestawa is incredibly rocky. This is amazing, so this is it. Let me get a little higher so it's official. But I think I've made it to the top, of the second highest peak of the Phoenix mountain range, Paestua Peak. I've been saying that a lot throughout this vlog, so don't, don't turn this into a drinking game. But look at this view. Well, I'm at the top, but I think that peak over there is slightly higher. So I'm gonna make that little traverse to be legitimate, to, to be at the actual <laughs> highest peak, 2,608 feet. Some people say 2,610, I, I, close enough, right? But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over there and then show you the views. Let's do this. I had to show the official End of the trail marker right there. Summit Trail 300 states right there. The end of the trail. Made it to the top. We will always get here. It's a little bit steeper right here, but hey, I think this is the official high peak here, the, the peak of Paestoa Peak. So I'm going to do it. Let's do this. Let's try to find a way up. Really not bad. Again, this rock is very solid and rugged. Look at this. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna have my butter. Look at this. Oh, sweet. Look at this. All right, it's official now. This 
is a fish. Oh yeah, right there, look. Right there, the high point. High point marker. This is it. The highest, well the second highest peak of the Phoenix Mountain Range. This is the top of Paestua Peak. Here we go. Made it. It's official. And it's so amazing how much more rugged the top of Paestua is compared to Camelback over there. It looks like a completely different rock formation, different geographical feature. Look at that. And then there's the trail heading back and straight ahead, the Phoenix skyline. Well, no better place to camp out a bit, open up a beer and just take in the views of the Valley of the Sun. Please. Gotta get the, gotta get the official helicopter shot. I got one on Camelback last month. Flying over. I think they're just doing their routine fly around. Yeah. There's no emergencies today that I know of. I mean, the weather is perfect out. But I think the, the police here in Camelback, they, they tend to get in the helicopters and circle around just to check to make sure everybody's doing all right. There's your official police helicopter shot. Well, now that I'm at the top, let's crack open a local Arizona beer and take in the sunset. I was bringing these Yeti canisters to keep them cool. Today I'm trying a Dragoon Pilsner. This is brewed in Tucson, Arizona. And actually I've had this before. It's a fantastic beer, but uh, it's been a little while. So let's crack it open. You know, beer always tastes better at the top of a mountain. There's truth to that, trust me. And uh, good thing the police are gone because I don't want to get arrested for drinking a beer on top of a mountain. I, I don't know if you can or cannot, but I, I do it anyway. I don't even know either. I don't think they'd bother you. Oh, that is great. This is awesome. Dragoon Pilsner. One of my favorite beers here in Arizona. That'd be hilarious if I got like arrested on camera for drinking a beer on top of a mountain. It'd totally be worth it. I don't, I don't know how expensive that would be to, to get uh, for them to get me off the mountain. But anyway, glad they didn't. Ah, oh, it's always a great accomplishment. No matter what mountain, what time of the year, I've yet to do this in the summertime, but th this gentleman here sitting next to me apparently is the pro at hiking in the summertime. You're, what is your name again, sir? Lee Thomason. Lee Thomason, and you were interviewed by the New York Times? Yes. Because you like to hike in insanely hot weather. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently he is a local legend here in Arizona. Just ran into him at the peak. Keep it up, sir, keep it up. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you too. Way to hell over on the other side of the town outside of Phoenix. They took an Uber ride all the way here. Well, they wanted to hike Camelback and it was pouring down rain on the way on the freeway. Oh yeah. Um, so they were thinking they couldn't hike. Well, well you can see the sun is setting over the Valley of the Sun. Happy 2023, everyone. This is something I've, I've never done before. Again, living in Chicago and Iowa, we didn't have mountains, so I figured this would be a good way. I'm trying to watch my stepping here, because again, this is a very rocky peak compared to Camelback, but I've never climbed a mountain on New Year's before, so this is a bucket list item. I guess knocked off, crossed off the list, but uh, yeah, sunset over Phoenix, made it to the top of Paestua Peak, and gonna start making my way down and back towards the parking lot where we'll close this thing out. But look at the views here. What a beautiful, beautiful time of year. I'm used to uh, bunkering down in January, back in the Midwest, because it's usually like negative 10 degrees or worse out. But here in Phoenix, it's still like 60 degrees. It's gorgeous. And even though there's a lot more room on this side, make sure you make it to this higher peak because this is where they have the official symbol. This is the high point, 2,610 feet. 
And over there, just one more look at Camelback, the hump of the camel. At sunset. And over straight ahead is Superstition Mountain. That is another mountain I want to hike. That's another popular spot here in Maricopa County. And actually the, the clouds are starting to clear, but straight ahead of me there is Four Peaks. Over 7,000 feet tall. That's the highest point of Maricopa County. And that's something, it's, they've got snow up there this time of year. So I won't be doing that anytime soon, but I'm planning a hike maybe in April or May to Four Peaks. So that's something I definitely want to do this year into 2023. Just absolutely gorgeous up here. One more view of the north side of Paestua Peak. And it is starting to get dark. The sun is setting. So I'm gonna start making my way back down because we still have a decent trek back. I'm trying to avoid doing that completely in the dark. Although I brought a flashlight, so it won't be the end of the world. But yeah, let's start making our way down. Well, I don't know how much sunlight I'm going to have when I make it to the bottom, but right now, twilight is here. And again, it's absolutely breathtaking in the Sonoran Desert. Look at that. So, a couple things to note, I guess, if you're looking to climb Paestua Peak, is it is going to be a workout on your glutes, on your thighs, so take your time, but you can do it. It's not a very, very difficult hike. There's some, I would say the most difficult part is at, right at the peak, it's a lot steeper, but again, the trail is very straightforward and easy to follow. And I would actually recommend doing this before you do Camelback. I think this is a little bit easier than Camelback Echo Canyon Trail. I can't speak for the Choya Trail. I haven't done that one yet, but Echo Canyon Trail over at Camelback is definitely a little bit harder than Paestua Peak Summit Trail. So this is a great, in my mind, intermediate trail here in the Valley of the Sun, the Phoenix metro area. You might want to warm up over at South Mountain before you do this one because that's a little easier climbing. Straight over there where the antennas are, South Mountain's easier hiking. But Paestua Peak being the second highest point of the Phoenix Mountain Range is a great one to start at as well. In my opinion, it's a good intermediate trail. Just bring plenty of water and maybe try to do it in the off season, uh, at least for your first climb. Don't do it in the summer months between May and September where it's like 110 plus degrees out here in the desert. You might, well, you could get heat exhaustion or run into trouble, but this is a great hike to introduce you to hiking and mountain climbing here in the state of Arizona especially around the Phoenix metro area. Another thing I want to note too is the geography is completely different on this mountain compared to Camelback. Camelback's got a lot more of red, the red rock, kind of the rounded red rock texture. Here it, it's, I don't know what kind of rock this is, but it's, it's like more of a black looking shale kind of rock. It almost looks volcanic here at Paestua. So it's a lot more, I would say like uh, sharper kind of rocks here on this mountain. Uh, again, I'm not a geologist. I'm just speaking from firsthand observation here. But if you know more about the geology of either Paestua Peak or Camelback, leave a comment because I'd love to learn more about that. Great climb, nonetheless. Well, I made it to the bottom. GoPro is, this is the GoPro 10. It's still terrible at night. They're still not great to use it in the dark. So I'm using my iPhone to close this thing out. But yeah, I made it to the bottom of Paestua Peak. Again, just an excellent climb here in the Phoenix metro area. Highly recommend it to anyone visiting Phoenix or 
living in Phoenix. Wow, those headlights are really bright on this car. Or living in Phoenix to get out, get out of your house, come out here and do a little hiking. You don't have to make it to the peak. Just get out and make an effort and enjoy it. The challenge is always, it's always good. It's always good to get out and work yourself. Well, it's been a successful hike. Really enjoyed it, highly recommend it. And happy new year, everyone. Happy 2023. You know, this is the first time I've ever, you still got this sunset by me as well. Look at these Phoenix sunsets and the noise of the bathroom, the toilets flushing. It's a good way to chime in the new year. Don't flush out the old year. You know, you wanna keep those memories, but uh, you know, that could be a metaphor. You know, we're flushing 2022 away, bringing in 2023. And uh, I guess my one metaphor I could add to this is have an adventure this year. I don't care if you have an office job, make time. I don't care if you say you live in a boring town, there's always interesting things to do, no matter where you live. Get out, explore a local museum, take a hike, whether it's a mountain or just a bike trail in your community, get out and have fun. Do something new this year. Life is an adventure. Keep on moving. This is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog and it's time for me to get out of here. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy 2023. And like always, thanks for watching. Now get out there and go on an adventure. Look at this sunset, I love it. All right, I'm out of here. Think of it like one big stairmaster. Yeah, it's so Definitely feeling it in my thighs, that's for sure.